it takes a special audacity to call a statement, any statement, a declaration. Mm. One, from today, June the 6th, 2017, when this proclamation is signed, the North, a critical player in the Nigerian project, hereby declares that it will no longer be disposed to coexisting with the Igbos and shall take definite steps to end the partnership by pulling out of the current federal arrangement. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are a few world famous declarations. You have the Ahira Declaration, mm -hmm. the Geneva Declaration, mm -hmm. the Al Mustafa Declaration, mm -hmm. and then there is the declaration that I made to Mamudoka in 2003. Ah. <laughs> that one is Mamudoka Declaration. Even though I was the person saying it, you know, I, it was written for me to say. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? But, but, but what the 16 group of self-appointed Northern Youths made last week was more audacious. For the North hereby openly calls on the authorities and other national and international stakeholders to acknowledge this declaration by taking steps to facilitate the final dissolution of this hopeless union that has never been convenient to any of the parties. In one declaration, they violated the Ahara Declaration, the Geneva Declaration, and the Al Mustafa Declaration. Mm. There, they say no, no. You are allowed to violate only two declarations in one declaration. <laughs> <laughs> but they, did, they violated three. Mm, all the three. Listen to them. There are today sufficient reasons to suspect that some Igbos masquerade as Fulani herdsmen to commit violent atrocities across the country in order to cause and spread ethnic disaffection. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These youths gave Igbo people in northern Nigeria mm. three months to leave. They say, in three months, you have to leave or else. Listen to this. Secondly, with the effective date of this declaration, which is today, Tuesday, June the 6th, 2017, all Igbos currently residing in any part of northern Nigeria are hereby served notice to relocate within three months. Wow. <laughs> now, now that's, more, that's more than the time that uh, Ambode gave that pastor, that pastor of the church, the church <laughs> in Alausa. That's more than <laughs> it. Yeah, he gave, gave the man 24 hours. So this, this youth are they're smart. Now, here is one of the leaders of the youths who made that declaration. Take your property, whatever you own, back to where you come from. And we're also saying to our own brothers over there to a lot of our dreams. His name is Shetima Yerima. Mm. Watch. And I contested in the last election as a candidate of Liberal Democratic Party at the level of Vice President of Nigeria. Ah. I know. Get out of here, man. So, 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 so he contested to be Vice President of Nigeria. I, mm. You don't mean it. You don't mean it. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Not, not at all. Shetima Yerima was not just a comrade. Mm. The media loved him. Mm. What you mean? There's something about you that the media seem to love you and you have a way with your positions on issues. Why are yeah. you the way you are? I am well. I am because I believe injustice anywhere is a threat to justice anywhere. Uh, I, stop, 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 stop. I believe justice must be seen to be given to all. I believe in free society. I believe in fair sharing whatever I am. Stop, stop. Eh? What happened to that Yerema? What happened? Okay, okay, let him finish. Let him finish. And injustice or injury to one is injury to all. And that has been my philosophy and that has been my belief. So I believe what is good for me should also be good for any other person. And that has been my views in national issues in Nigeria. And I look forward to seeing Nigerian of my dream someday. Anyway, Yerema led the team, his team of 16 Northern youths. No females. <laughs> you're all, you're all, all, men. Boys. All, all boys, yeah. To issue this declaration, you know, well, 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 it didn't take time for reactions to fly everywhere. Mm. The Kaduna State Government issued their own statement demanding the arrest of these men. Yes. They should arrest sorry, them. sorry, I say youths. Oh. Youths. It's not men. Youths. No, no men. <laughs> youths. Yeah. From Masob and other Biafran groups came the cheers that Biafra is here after all. Mm. You know, they were celebrating it. Now, Oharez and Dibo issued their own statement saying that Igbo people have 44 trillion investments mm. in northern Nigeria. What? 
and then we are going nowhere. Ah. No, no, it wasn't. It's not. It's not a joke. Response. It's not a joke. Uh, yeah, they, 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 they. Meanwhile, the governors of Eastern State of Nigeria held an emergency meeting. Mm -hmm. I didn't know they could agree, but finally they agreed to have a meeting. And when they rose from that meeting, they said that they were sending 100 luxurious buses to go to the north and bring back their people. What? Yeah. I said, thank God. <laughs> thank God they have the second Niger bridge to bring uh, to you. Yeah. Because if you have 100 uh, luxurious buses, I don't think they can. That, that old bridge cannot take them. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> these Eastern governors also vowed to give any returning family 500,000 Naira mm. to start all over. Chicken change. Now, how much? Yeah, exactly. I was talking about how much is the, a shop in Onisha? How much do you pay for, for a shop in Onisha? <laughs> anyway, anyway. The youth from the middle belt said in their own statement that they would take the Igbo people mm. being kicked out from the north. Mm. I'm like, are they not part of the north? What happened? What? There's confusion everywhere. <laughs> yes. Anyway, anyway, the northern governors, they also came together. Mm. They met and they told the nation that, don't mind those small boys, that it is youthful exuberance that mm -hmm. is worrying them. <laughs> yes. Yes. You, see, you see, there were beehives of activities everywhere. Mm. I wish all these people reacted the same way. When Dami, Dami uh, Crane, you know him? Yeah, Dami Crane. Dami Crane, when he was arrested in Florida. I wish they reacted this way. <laughs> no, okay, okay, okay. What, who, yeah, who wrote this crap? I'm talking about politics here, bringing this musician. Who, who wrote this crap? I mean to say that I wish these people reacted this way the first time headsmen killed some farmers in Benue State. Yes, sir. I wish there's this kind of movement and reaction. Yes. You know, anyway, anyway. Nonsense. Ari White and nonsense. Ari White youth made a U turn. Oh, yeah, they made a U turn for peace. Really? This how it happens. As our forefathers said, action and reaction are equal and the opposite. Wow! <laughs> That's my forefather that said that. It is something that youths of nowadays don't know. Mm -hmm. Because they neither study history nor physics. It didn't take time before the Ariwa youths made a U-turn. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, here is Yerima and his friend, comrade Isaac Balami, speaking after the fact. Watch. Mm -hmm. Please, 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 don't panic. Don't, uh, don't get worried. Uh, we have always stand for peace. Ariwa has been known to be a peaceful region of this country. And um, like Yerima have did say, uh, um, we are going to create a platform whereby we can come together as one to discuss. Wow. <laughs> I know, I know. You see, the man said, don't panic, don't panic, don't, don't get worried. Ariwa stands for peace. I'm, mm. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> he said that he's going to create a platform where we will get together and discuss these issues. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh man, children oh, of nowadays. Man. You see, I know people who already are moving their wives and concubines away from, right, yeah. away from the north. Yeah, yeah. Because these children, they think this is a video game. You can pull this way and pull this way and then kill Nonsense. somebody. And they wonder, Nonsense. You know? Anyway, listen to listen to our uh, comrade again. I am a chief. I'm the Ochiro Ozo one of Ibagwa Nike Kingdom. And for the people for, uh, of the southeastern part, I mean, I mean for the southeasterners to recognize me as a chief, um, it means that they want us to have one nation. Wow. <laughs> I know. He said he is a chief in, in he's the Ochilozo one of Ibagwa Dike Kingdom. Mm. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. This is, you know, this, he said this is not the time to talk about breakup of Nigeria. <laughs> wow. I said, damn. So this comrade eh, is a chief and the one who brings people together and raise them. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. And yet he said this thing. Eh? He said he was and Yerima Shetima here has made it clear that everything he has done was in good faith and he wants to assure Nigerians that uh, there's no any cause for alarm. This is one Nigeria and we are going nowhere. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, yes. The nation, this nation is not going anywhere. Yes. The kind of cause yeah, that it? we have so received why? worldwide. So, so <laughs> this, turn, this turn of event did not make some people happy, especially some beer friends. Mm -hmm. Look at the reaction of this beer friend. Watch. I will send thunder to British Nigeria. The God that will send thunder to Muhammad Buhari. Wow. You know, they thought it's, it's, it happened. They thought we are there. Anyway, this story is not over yet. It's not over yet, you know. But as we go on, we bring you more. Yes. Because Yerima is not done. <laughs> Yerima used to be a, he used to be our friend, you know. He used to be our friend. You know, he's not done. And um, we'll talk about that. So keep watching. Now. Growing up in Kenya, my sister and I were very close. But like any sisters, we fought a lot. She always got new clothes and I always got hand-me-downs. Now she's putting her children through school in Kenya. We still fight sometimes, especially when I send money for the kids. 
I tell her, buy some clothes for the younger one, and we both laugh. With nearly 500,000 locations, our app and online, this is moving money for better.